Hello Virgo, welcome to a love reading. This love reading is going to be all about who or what is coming towards you in love and what's next. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Virgo, please. Who or what is coming towards Virgo in love? Virgo, as always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate. For every single Virgo watching, take what resonates and what applies to you and leave the rest. If it does not resonate at all or you just want to watch more videos for your sign, check out my playlist for Virgo. It's linked in the description box. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? Who or what is coming towards them in love? Okay, we have moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Virgo, this has been an ongoing theme for a lot of your readings. What else do you have for Virgo? This is my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box. Wow, and then we have a love letter, message, confession, response. A special message is on its way. Okay, let's see what else we got. What else for Virgo? Spirit, who or what is coming towards Virgo? In love. Who or what is coming towards Virgo? in love okay we have chemistry a strong magnetic attraction there's a strong ma magnetic attraction here so what i'm getting here it's a weird message i feel like you, virgo you or your person there's a desire here i'm not really seeing this as like physical chemistry I'm seeing this as like someone being drawn to something and especially when you look at this card um there's like a little like orb that they're like staring at i hope that that's you're able to see that it's not like the attraction is between them specifically let's see what else for virgo who or what is coming towards them occupation so this is focus effort very eight of pentacles here this could have something to do with work moving forward you know into a new job um or there's just again there's something that you are drawn to and you're working hard towards it and that could be you or your person there's some sort of departure here movement forward into a new cycle so we'll see what we get with the tarot here sorry tell me more for virgo who or what is coming towards Virgo? Who or what? Who or what is coming towards Virgo when it comes to love? I'm not sure where my tripod's moving, but... Okay, then we start with the chariot. Exactly. Another card about movement we have the six of wands success these two cards are about success success actually the chariot is being on the right path um making moves towards something successful um so i feel like this is what's happening right now either someone's making a move towards you or you're making some sort of move in your life that will lead to success of some sort recognition can i get one more for virgo who or what is coming towards virgo in love spirit eight of wands so there's that communication and also another card about movement action so what i'm getting here is whatever is going to happen towards you or whatever so let's see what else we can get for these energies so we have the chariot cancer energy there tell me more about Someone just flew out. Oh, 
Whoa! <sighs> of course, my whole setup. <laughs> Excuse me while I just get it together here, Virgo. My chair is on wheels, <laughs> which is not always the best um, setup. So let me just kind of set this. Okay. All right. So we have here the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Can I get some more information about the chariot, please? We have the Nine of Cups. So this is, again, remember when I said someone is drawn to something or like desires something? That's what the Nine of Cups is. It's almost like this chariot is going towards their wish um, fulfillment or going towards something that's very emotionally satisfying. Um, there's, you know, two cards here so far about emotions, feelings. Um, can I get one more for the chariot? The king of swords. Okay, so we have the king of swords. So, okay, interesting. Um, this could be somebody that comes to, like, literally comes over to talk or has something to say. And maybe it's, you know, if this is just a conversation, it's about where this is all headed, what the future holds. It's like someone wants to tell you something here with the King of Swords, or perhaps this is someone who's going after what they know will make them happy what's at the bottom of the deck three of wands so we have um waiting with expectation here waiting for a message back a response waiting for something to come to them seeing you know what again this the three of wands also is a, is a card about kind of seeing your ships come in but you're also looking out into the horizon um taking necessary steps towards success You've already done some of the work, but there's still work to be done. Let me get one more. Can I get one more, please? For the chariot. Can I get one more for the chariot? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's there's definitely, this is the occupation card. Someone has been working on something here. Uh, either they've been hard at work like at their place of employment or this is something that someone's willing to I guess put some effort into bottom of the deck I have the justice card Libra energy and then right after that the knight of pentacles so yeah this is about someone that's taking their time to do things right there could be a legal situation that someone's waiting for a response for um, with the justice card or some sort of official um, message or decision. You know, this could be just someone ready to move forward, but since this is who or what is coming towards you, I feel like this is your person. It's like your person is ready to move forward into what they have always wanted. And they're willing to work for it because in their mind, they know they could be successful. So this could be in regards to a partnership, another job, take it as it resonates, but it has something to do with you because obviously this is a Virgo reading. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Ace of Wands, exactly. This is about new beginnings, moving forward into something new, something exciting. And then we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Again, another card about someone who's doing very well, successful, grounded, stable. Two of Pentacles, busy. <laughs> I have the Fool at the bottom of the deck, and right after that, I have the World. Wow. And right after that, the Two of Wands. So this Two of Pentacles could be... Um, I, you know, I'm, it's almost like ending a cycle to start a new one, literally, with the world and the fool. 
So I feel like someone has made an exchange of some sort. Can I get some insight into this Eight of Wands, please? There's Eight of Wands here. Five of Swords. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Hangman. Oh, okay. I feel like someone has been stuck in an unfair situation and now they're breaking free of that Ace of Wands. So we have the Ace of Wands, I mean, Ace of Swords. So we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. This is communication coming in and I feel like this is communication about how someone has not been able to um, become unstuck or how someone has dealt with a difficult situation that has been unfair. It's almost like your person wants to tell you what they've been through or what they, you know, what has maybe delayed them. Can I get one more, please, for the Five of Swords and the Hangman? Yep, we got the Devil. Capricorn energy. So this is definitely someone that has been stuck stuck in an unhealthy situation, a situation that has been difficult, restrictive. This is someone I feel it's going to tell you this. Um, maybe they're going to be talking to you about moving forward about, you know, what, you know, maybe they want to, they've chosen you over something or someone else and they're ready for a new start here with the world and the fool. Let's get some insight about this person. Spirit, tell me about this person that Virgo is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person that Virgo is dealing with or is coming towards Virgo? Okay, we have number six, fun, outgoing, and lively. Can you tell me more about this person that Virgo is dealing with or is coming towards Virgo? Enthusiastic, excited, and eager, interesting. Uh, this is someone this is someone that's very um, I'm getting like someone that's very what I want to say is someone very different than you <laughs> not to say that you're not a fun or enthusiastic person this is just what I'm picking up Aquarius ruled by Uranus so this card could literally mean that someone has Aquarius in their chart, or it could be that this is what your person wants to do in terms of like the star of the tarot, the major arcana, the Aquarius card is the star. So the star is about hope, renewal, and faith, and it could be that this person wants to do that. Once again, has a wish of some sort. Basically, it, I feel like this is someone that's really eager to get something done, get their wish granted or really wants happiness i'm also picking up this person makes you happy whoever this is they make you happy or you're going to be happy to hear from them let's see what else we can get about where is all of this headed the extended is going to be all about your person the 411 on them so i don't want to spend too much time on their energies here spirit tell me where is all of this headed Move these over. Where is all of this headed for Virgo? Where is all of this headed for Virgo, please? What's next? What's next for Virgo? What's next? We have the Three of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. What's next? Well, that's way too many. But the Moon is here, Pisces energy, and then like four more cards. What's next for this connection for Virgo? We got two more cards. Oh my gosh, we have the two of cups and the three of swords. Okay. 
Three of Cups. This is a card about reunion, coming together, celebration. Could be a reunion here between you and this other person. Or just somebody wanting to go, go out, invite you out, or see you in some sort of group setting. Can I get one more for this Three of Cups? What's this Three of Cups about? We have the King of Pentacles again with the Ten of Swords. Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Cups? Oops, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, this again, an ending for a beginning. What's this? Five of Swords again. So I feel like there has been someone, one of you, you, Virgo, or your person, has gone through some sort of ending in your life. Some sort of the end, an ending of a cycle, an ending of a relationship, an ending of a location, whatever, fill in the blank. There has been um, someone that has had to move forward towards a new beginning. And somehow this is going to allow for a possible reunion here with the past or something like that. Because there's like this energy of a new beginning, but regarding a connection. Can I get some um, insight into this Ten of Wands? Spirit, why is the Ten of Wands here? I feel like this is like that stuck energy that we saw previously. We have the Seven of, seven of Wands. Challenges, obstacles, needing to be strong, courageous, firm. Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Can we have the Page of Wands? I feel like this is someone that's dealing with a very difficult situation, a situation that has been a heavy load or a weight on someone. Um, I feel like this is what's keeping someone, it's almost like they're fighting their way out of something. I have the Nine of Pentacles here. So it's almost like independence, stability, security. This is somebody that maybe is trying to you know, leave a situation without losing everything or while still being somewhat stable. And this is again, with the Page of Wands, I'm getting someone starting something new here. And then I have the cherry at the bottom of the deck once again. So yes, it's like someone is becoming free of something here. So why is the Three of Swords and the Two of Cups together? There could be a third party situation here. A third person, because I also have the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Swords here with the Two of Cups spirit? We have the Four of Swords, healing, rest, thinking, um, planning. We have the Queen of Cups again. Tell me more about this Three of Swords with the Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that wants to fix something heal something because i have the six of pentacles and the four of swords and then in the previous spread we had the six the justice card it's like someone wants to balance the scales um fix something so this could have been a connection that had some sort of heartbreak or a difficulty can i get one more for the three of swords and the two of cups And we have the King of Wands. Yeah. This is what someone wants. Again, with like this idea of taking action towards something that you desire or want. I have the Hangman at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Cups. I mean, this is somebody who, while they've been in a difficult situation, stuck in a situation, all they've done is think about their wish fulfilled or their wish for, or or their 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 hidden desire or their heart's true desire something like that is what i'm getting because i also have the 4 of cups here with the with the hangman it's like someone hasn't been happy for a while um maybe they felt like they were you know just emotionally checked out of the situation and maybe all that really got them through was thinking of 
this, what they want to get now. And again, this could be you or your person, but I feel like, yeah, with the King of Cups here, um, this is regarding love. And then after that, we have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, it's like someone's been imagining their happy ending or desires a happy ending with you. Something like that, um, because you're involved here, even though for some reason, I don't feel like you're the main, the main character here. <laughs> If that makes sense, um, this is who or what's coming towards you and what's next. I feel like whoever's coming towards you is the one dealing with the situation. I don't think you're the one that is going through the moving forward, although it could be. I feel like there's so many messages here about new beginnings, leaving something behind, being free and having your wish granted or getting what you desire most, what you've been drawn to and thinking about all this time. And I feel like that might be your person and I feel like you are part of that happy ending. Um, thank you so much for watching Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated for you. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing, checking out your playlist um, and leaving me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and I will hopefully see you in another video very soon. Take care.